it's Drew Bennett for Ben Spark Family Adventures, and I have the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the set of the four brothers from Playmates for the new Nickelodeon Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show. Now, I am not a fan of the show. I'll admit that right off the bat. I do, however, like that the toys that Playmates makes are really cool. And so, I've always loved the turtles. I still want to pick up every set of the four brothers that I can, and these were pretty interesting as far as uh, how they made the new designs for these new characters. So, I wanted to get a copy, and Playmate sent me one of each of the, the four brothers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up each one of these and show you them closer and more individual. I'm going to show you in a, a little bit of a different way. Leonardo has always been my least favorite turtle. He just, he just is. Uh, his personality or, or whatnot. I don't know. He was the leader, and now in Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he is no longer the leader. Raphael is the leader. But Leonardo is the trickster, and he's described as Leo is intelligent and quick-witted. He uses his sharp skills to beat opponents, find shortcuts around obstacles, and always knows the perfect time to land one of his many one-liners. The species of his turtle is the red-eared slider, and his weapons, are the his weapon is the Odachi sword. He doesn't have katanas anymore. He has an Odachi sword. The Leonardo figure came with two swords. Came with this large sword here, and then this other sword, the Odachi sword. It appears that this sword probably becomes this one uh, in a magical way you know it becomes a, a stronger weapon and so that's one of the things that that leo has plenty of great points of articulation easy to stand this figure up different sizes he's got a spot in the back here the back of his shell and then also where you can attach the sword not exactly sure what specific way to attach the sword but that's what i figure is how that sword gets attached he's got his mask and his belts and the wraps around his feet. Now his feet even bend, which is good at the ankles, also at the knees, and at the hips. Pretty cool. Also comes with a skateboard. Of course, the turtles have the skateboards, and they always got those holes in the bottom of their feet, so they can easily attach to accessories like the skateboard. So my second least favorite turtle is Michelangelo. And I don't know if it was, you know, it just, real silliness of Michelangelo that I just wasn't a fan of, but uh, he became my second least favorite of the Turtles. But in this series, uh, they, give, they say Michelangelo, the wild card. Now he's always been a wild card, so that's good. As the youngest turtle, Mikey has a wild and colorful personality. He is an artist and spends his time tagging the turtle's lair and a shell with graffiti. He's an eternal optimist and an absolute natural at ninjutsu. The species that they gave him was a box turtle, and his weapon is the Kusari Fundo. So I think the Kusari Fundo is the weapon in the front. Let me try to focus that one just a little bit more on that. So that that uh, weapon right there, that's the Kusari Fundo. And he also has, he also came with another one that looks like it has a boxing glove on it. And his other weapon looks like you know, a almost looks like nunchuck, but it's got three three parts to it, like a three part nunchuck. He also comes with, uh, uh, of course, a skateboard. I mean, they're the skateboarding, they're skateboarding turtles, and each turtle comes with some of these ninja stars as well. So they get uh, some stars and stuff like that. The figure itself, nice. I mean, great articulation, lots of detail on the figure. So nice figure overall. Uh, Mikey also came with, if I can find it, as I said, he tags all of the the down, down uh, their layer with the graffiti. So these are some of the tags that he uses. Looks like a silly happy poop and a uh, piece of pizza and stuff like that. So you can use these to decorate things. I could decorate this underground layer of, uh, of mine and you know, use, use those and decorate this area with uh, his different tags. So that's Michelangelo. My second favorite turtle is Raphael. I've always liked Raphael, but I, my heart is with Donnie. Donnie is my favorite overall. But Raphael is just a more complex character than many of the other turtles. 
Uh, he's kind of like a tortured character, tortured soul, where he, he just he wants to be the leader. Now, in Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he is the leader. So that's a whole different aspect there. So we can take a look here. It says, Raphael is the muscle. As the biggest and oldest brother, Raph is the self-appointed leader of the group. He thinks he can use his fist to get himself out of any situation, but while Raph's muscles are bigger than his brain, his heart is bigger than his muscles. The species that he, they have him as is a snapping turtle, and its weapons are the tonfas. So the weapons that he has there are called tonfas, and he doesn't have the you know the size size anymore. So they, they changed a lot as far as the weapons and things that they have. But he also gets like a powered up. Uh, a powered up version. Let me show you the powered up version. So you can see the powered up version of his tonfas uh, has these giant hands that are all red and you can see the tonfas there and kind of like fiery. So when he powers up and gets you know stronger then he can use those sort of weapons, those, those fists and stuff. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't know exactly what it's called from the, the show. Uh, I've only watched the first episode and uh, I should probably give it another go. Uh, but again, I like the toys very much. Great articulation at the ankles, the knees, the hips, and the shoulders, the elbows, even the hands move. So great articulation and a great look of this character. Donatello has the most special place in my heart. I think it's because I identify very much with that tech geek, that wizard, that just overall nerd uh, aspect of this character. So, a, they describe Donatello as the tech whiz. Donnie is the coolest tech whiz ever, being a soft shell turtle may be a drawback in the ninja world, but with his series of battle shells and transforming bow staff, Donnie can take on any foe. So, his species is a soft shell turtle, his weapon is a tech bow staff. So, his bow staff is this, and it's a tech technological bow staff, so it's gonna change and do some different things. But when it's powered up, it looks like this. Okay, so that bow staff has got some extra power. And Donnie is a soft shell turtle. So you can see that little soft shell there. So he's gonna be in some trouble, but he's built himself a battle shell. Okay, so you put that shell on, his battle shell. And then he also has like this hovercraft thing that can fit on the back of his shell. And he can call upon it whenever he needs to. And that'll help him like fly around and do some additional stuff. So let's put that shell on here better. Okay, so that is his battle shell. So now he has a hard shell. And he also has that. So you can use that, call upon it, and actually use it like a hoverboard and fly around on that. So that's really cool as far as you know, that, that character. He's made some things that will adapt so that he can work in the in the uh, ninja world and not be at a disadvantage. And that's what I like a lot about Donatello, is that he uses his brains as well as his muscle in order to, you know, be the best ninja possible. These are your four brothers, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got Raphael in the front, Michelangelo, then Donatello, and then Leonardo. They all have different uh, powered up weapons from, from the show, and also they're all different species of turtles. I like that about that. That's a really interesting aspect of, of uh, creating the personalities of these turtles. Uh, just not quite into to the ultra silliness of the show, but I do really like how these figures came out. I think they did an excellent job at Playmates and they're definitely, you know, if you're a turtle collector and you like the turtle uh, figures, Playmates has really been amazing with building their, their, their toys and making them look so accurate and just have some really cool aspects to them. Anyway, uh, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures, and you can find me making videos all the time. Uh, I'm going to check out some more Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, kind of give it a shot. Uh, I, I don't want to be one of those people who just says, oh, I don't, I don't like this, I'm not going to I'm not gonna give it a shot. Uh, I will go back and see, you know, if I, if I like it any more than I did the first time. And uh, now I have some toys that we can play along with. Thanks for watching.